Hey, this is Satya from the EMF Center. Since it's very hard to completely avoid using a cell phone, I want to show you a simple way that you can protect yourself from its microwave radiation using a common stainless steel strainer basket. The idea is that you put your cell phone or any other wireless device that you want to uh, be protected from, and you keep the open side facing away from you so that it blocks the radiation coming directly at you. And this can make a huge difference. So the results of this strategy can vary for many reasons, but one of the most important is what is in front of the open side of the basket, which will then reflect the microwaves back at you. For example, how far is the nearest wall in front of you? What is the wall made out of? What is the angle of the wall in relation to the basket? All of these things can change the way the microwaves bounce around at the speed of light. In preparation for this video, I made a bunch of tests to see how the results changed as I moved the basket closer to and further from the walls in this room. And I found that I could actually make over a 95% reduction even with the basket just 6 inches or 15 centimeters in front of a wall. However, I definitely wouldn't count on that. And uh, the worst, the lowest reduction I ever saw was 50%, but that was very rare. And um, to be safer, I would definitely recommend try and get more like three feet or a meter if you could. Of course, outside is great. And there's a lot, again, that goes into determining, determining the results here. So now I'm gonna give you a demonstration using the first few Wi-Fi signals from my old phone, because that's one of the only ways I've found to create a signal that I can consistently reproduce. So now I wanna show you just what a difference this basket can make. You can see that the general level in this area has got up to 17.9 microwatts per square meter. Now I'm gonna turn on the Wi-Fi, reset the hold, we'll give it a moment. And it's got up to 17,000. In case you're wondering, the cardboard was there just to give it roughly the same height. And this is a very rough test. Now with the phone in roughly the same position, I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi, reset the hold, give it a moment, and it's got up to 438. So as you just saw, without the shield, the level was 17,000. And after we put the basket between the phone and the meter, the level went down to 438. So in the particular place where the meter was, the level of microwave radiation went down 97.4%. Important note, unlike Wi-Fi signals, a phone's cellular signal can vary dramatically depending on the distance to the nearest antenna and any obstacles in between. This means that the results of the shielding strategy may vary much more with a cellular signal than with Wi-Fi. For the most complete information, please visit our website, emfcenter.com. I also wanted to mention that when I recommended three feet or a meter, that was based on the results I saw from the testing in this room with a Wi-Fi signal. But the results can be very different in different situations. And as always, it's incredibly valuable to have a good EMF meter to test the results of your shielding because in some cases they can really be counterproductive. And finally, I've recently created a free guide on how to use your cell phone. You'll find a link to it in the text below this video, as well as a link to our page for recommendations on wireless meters. If you found this video helpful, make sure to follow us for more ways to protect yourself in our wireless world. Stay safe.